Only on two at 4.30, the COVID variant ravaging India right now has been detected in our area. There are at least two patients with this highly contagious form of the virus, and doctors suspect that there could be additional cases as well. Houston's only full-time TV health reporter Haley Hernandez back now with this warning from doctors about the new strain found in our area. Haley? Yeah, UTMB says they have detected the B1617 in two patients. So far, they're the only ones that are officially saying that they have seen it, but they have a warning that it is extremely contagious and could threaten the lives of those who are not vaccinated. This week, the people in India are battling devastation from a cyclone and the pandemic. The strain of the coronavirus there is killing people by the thousands. Dr. Janik Patel from UTMB says hardly anyone with family there hasn't felt tremendous loss from the uncontrolled spread. There was a time early on when the vaccination effort began, when the uh, COVID case numbers were low, that people were reluctant to get a vaccination. But right now, with the current tragedy, everyone, pretty much everyone is, you know, struggling to get access to vaccine. Here in our area, access to a vaccine is not hard to come by. There's hardly any wait or appointment needed, and you never have to pay. But more than half of Texans are still unvaccinated, which makes the detection of the Indian variant much more alarming. Studies recently have shown that it's at least two times more contagious than the UK variant, which now we have in our community. That was already considered to be much more contagious than our original strain. So the Indian variant is currently in the world the most contagious strain we have. He says this means people still need to take precautions such as face masks and hand washing until a larger percentage of the population is vaccinated. And Dr. Patel says his colleagues at UTMB have discovered something really amazing. COVID-19 antibodies from the Pfizer vaccine remain highly active against the California and New York variants. So while they have not determined if the same is true with the Indian variant, this is a promising discovery that the vaccines might be a good match against mutations. Meaning even if you have breakthrough cases, you might not get as severely sick no matter which mutation that you come in contact with. Keith?